Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Kuhu from Deal Mirror and today we have Mr. Abir with us. And today we will be discussing that how easy and useful are rig elements to build our websites. It is the best solution for our web building emperor. You can save your time, money and energy and keep your dashboard clean with this masterpiece WordPress plugin. Let's move on to Abir. Hey Abir, how are you doing? Could you please introduce hey, yourself to our viewers? Uh, hey Google, thanks for uh, joining me to the webinar. Yes, thank I'm you. fine, thank you. Uh, actually, I am uh, the co-founder of Codember.com. So mm. uh, from, uh, I actually uh, launched this company from last three years ago from mm -hmm. Codebar Incorporated and we have actually have another company named Thinispell.com which has mm -hmm. another pro another two most selling products like local press and Dynashop. Also, mm -hmm. those uh, users or those viewers who has already seen local press and Dynashop, he could be uh, an idea about our company and our our products. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> uh, I uh, I was a freelancer web developer uh, from last. Uh, five years ago and then i have planned to build a company and my plan was to build that products we can build which will extremely user uh, friendly and user can easily uh, build their website without any issues especially wordpress focus currently we are wordpress focus and in future we will working on shopify so mm -hmm. that's actually in a short about me and my company so that's the things okay Yes, we are here. I want to tell you that I know Abhi from last two months, maybe three months, as he has launched his product Dynashop here. And we have got a very wonderful response for that. Isn't it, Abhi? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. So let's move on to this product. So, uh, Abhi, how was your journey? Do you face any problems while discovering it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, our journey was started is not very easy. So as well uh, we have worked on a lot of elementor based website like mm. users may hopefully uh, known about that elementor is one of the biggest and most advanced page builder currently in wordpress so mm. our plan is to build a elementor based add-ons which actually will contain all of the things that users need mm -hmm. there are a lot of elementor add-ons available in market like in wordpress directory or mm. even code canyon or even individually they are selling products so uh, we thought that uh, a user, if he need to install uh, more than five to six add-ons using to build their Elementor based website, why actually we couldn't make all of them in one element, first of the things. Mm -hmm. And some of the user uh, just ask uh, that uh, they need to build WooCommerce uh, based site using mm -hmm. Elementor, they want mm -hmm. to build uh, the blog pages, they want to build a custom solution like custom coding, custom, uh, I mean, custom CSS integration, they need to add in their uh, Elementor based website. So they need to, they actually using multiple add-ons or they are using the pro version of the add-ons or they are using Elementor Pro, which is currently a bit expensive. So yeah. then in that thing in that uh, th based on this thinking we thought that if we can make this solution a complete mm -hmm. solution for uh, elementor users then it will mm -hmm. be super helpful for them and mm -hmm. when we build trying to build this product we just faced a lot of errors bugs and a lot of obstacles but mm -hmm. it takes us almost one uh, more than one year to build this product and after mm -hmm. one year that we have started building it from last uh, April, in uh, that means April 2021, and it's currently mm -hmm. on 2 June. So mm -hmm. it's a very, very long time that we are actually uh, making and we are updating our product. So <clears throat> uh, as it is not so easy, but uh, it's uh, currently, I think it's a good product for users, for mm -hmm. especially for performance, especially for features, mm -hmm. and especially obviously for support. And uh, I think, it is to be a good, good helpful product for users yes now moving on to product uh, i have some questions in my mind that i want to clear it with you so uh, yeah. so how good is the elementor for seo because installing rig elements can have a negative speed impact which hurts seo is that so 
uh, actually elementor uh, uh, everyone just uh, it's a rumor in market that elementor actually first of all elementor hurts seo but currently mm -hmm. after releasing elementor 3.0 it's actually mm -hmm. more seo friendly than before in previous elementor was a little bit, bit slow mm -hmm. and generate a lot of our new support first of all so mm -hmm. after releasing version 3 and currently it's running 3.6 hopefully mm -hmm. uh, actually, i actually remember the exact version so after releasing uh, the three version the seo features and seo improvement improved a lot but what about if anyone install another add-on based on elementor like rig elements or even other so right. while we have started working with rig elements we just made think this first that we need to must work on the elementor uh, that the our add-on more seo friendly so mm. we just made our site uh, our uh, product less uh, less code so we have already said it the block free code we just didn't add any kind of tracking code any kind of uh, extra unused code and unused javascript code that will make the site slower if mm. we if any developer who has understand about coding if you mm. check regal limits code that is will be very narrow it is very narrow code and we mm. actually don't use any kind of uh, extra unused important script or important css anything else so mm. it actually won't hurt seo anymore currently we have mm -hmm. tested a lot of lot and lot in different different sites sites mm -hmm. uh, also our theme dino shop already compatible with uh rig elements and you using rig elements so mm -hmm. the dino shop user also if they check if they check this uh site that how actually this site could is impact the speed mm -hmm. so if they check the speed they will find that the speed will be slow and the seo will be better uh as like a fresh and new element or site so actually mm -hmm. Regal Elements own hard SEO in a short, we can say Regal Elements own hard SEO and won't affect the site speed anymore. Yeah, so what I get is that your speed will not be slowed and SEO will be good. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so any plan for affiliate blocks? Uh, actually, currently we have uh, an internal plan, we didn't make it public, but mm. we will uh, upcoming it with the public uh, public roadmap when we will show that how actually our affiliate uh, marketing uh, blocks or affiliate marketing elements like affiliate buttons or even uh, uh, like uh, table uh, table makers. So we have planned for this type of elements, but currently we actually don't want to exp uh, explore, uh, don't want to show that this plan currently. We will coming it in future. Okay, but we have, uh, we have got the idea. What is there in your mind? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely. And users, yeah. if the users yeah. want this uh, these features more, uh, mm -hmm. and they that if they want this, uh, if actually they want this feature, they can request us in the feature request section. We have already opened mm -hmm. a feature request section in our website, so mm -hmm. they can ask for a feature request. So based on this request, we mm -hmm. will make uh, them prioritize uh, then other features. Okay, so viewers, you have heard what Abir said. So can we use animation by it? Yeah, definitely we can use mm -hmm. animation. They are most uh, popular animation uh, platform. Loki animation can easily use with rig elements. Mm -hmm. uh, we have already uh, add on named Loki animation. And if he anyone plays the Loki animation element, and he, he can use any kind of Loki animation using our uh, using our element. So no issue from uh, uh, using any kind of animation. And we are working on advanced animation, like more entrance animation. If any, uh, if a site load, then the mm. section will animate more. Or we are working using preloaders that when the site loading, the preloader will show. So it's mm. coming. It's coming in next versions hopefully. Very nice. Does rig elements work with all the themes? Yeah, definitely. All of the themes come to uh, support with Elementor. All of the mm. themes will support support the rig elements. No issue with the theme no issues right eliminator is a third party editor and is the compatibility of rig elements uh, guaranteed with eliminator's latest versions yeah definitely uh, eliminator comes uh, as eliminator continuously updating their script and mm -hmm. they actually updated in uh, a week uh, in regularly updated actually hopefully in two to three days after or even in a week so mm -hmm. we are actually trying to compatible the latest elementor version uh, with our uh, with our real elements because uh, if we don't update it will broke 
so mm -hmm. that's why we actually continuously working on the elemental latest version compatibility so users don't need to worry about these things but if anyone faces this problem they mm -hmm. can contact our support and we will fix this issue uh, immediately okay so no need to worry can no. we look uh, at the presentation uh, to understand the working of reg elements better yeah definitely definitely i have already made a presentation plan so i am going to sharing my screen now okay so my screen have shared mm -hmm. i have already uh, created a blank uh, wordpress installation that no uh, uh, actually no themes or no plugins still not installed i am just installing it one by one currently and my plan is to create this type of I'll just uh, make a, a two sections based website. It mm. will be a header, it will be a hero section, and it will be a feature section will be in there. Mm. And it will be a gumboard payment feature uh, we will add. It's not actually not in the design. I will show in the live version. So user can easily take payment from gumboards. This mm. will be a, uh, a featured uh, featured element uh, of rig elements because this uh, no other element or add-on pack currently providing gumroad payment integration so let's see that how actually we can achieve this hmm. so first of all i need to just install a theme or install a plugin first of all i just i am just installing the most popular theme hello elementor yeah so okay hello elementor so it's a very simple bare bone theme and 100% compatible with Elementor because made by the Elementor team and my personal opinion to use you uh, hello Elementor because we didn't find any issue uh, while using Elementor then okay. we are going to install the Elementor page builder mm. so this is the must need for a long running rig elements it will take a couple of time because it's downloading from the web right and install accordingly okay so it has installed it i just make it activate mm. okay so i am going to skip this because we don't need to this configuration we just going to wp admin from here mm. so okay now i am going to install the rig elements plugin okay i'm going to upload the plugin it's a rig element currently rig elements 1.5 version has launched it has we have released it in last month okay, okay so all things are ready now we just find a uh, another menu coming comes with rig elements so we have find the template section in here so let's see that what actually the template section work so if we go to the template section if we click on add new we can create templates for our site using elementor like we can create header template footer mm -hmm. template single blog post template single page template and if we install yeah. woocommerce so we can use woocommerce mm -hmm. templates so uh, this feature actually coming with elementor pro but we just made this into rig elements so some uh, those people do who actually not super interested to purchase elementor pro mm -hmm. or even they not having budget uh, then they can actually achieve these things using elementor right sorry rig elements yeah. okay so we are building a simple header just a very simple header to uh, say exactly like the design so mm -hmm. let's see that how actually the template builder work currently if we go to our site we will find that we don't have any header just like a blank text and just another yeah. wordpress site this text mm -hmm. if we go to another blog post we will find find similarly that the header doesn't change okay so we need to override using rig element so we just keep making template type header and we just making it name header okay now mm. i'm going to click on publish and click on edit to elementor so our elementor panel is open now i am mm. just creating a section in here and creating its full white so as well as it will give us a full white design in here now i'm going to it's a figma design so mm. we can take the color from here here is the color code mm and we're just making it a background color simply okay so a background color already added now we need to add a text like the healthy power if it's a logo we can place image or we can place a text in here so i'm just currently placing text here for faster okay so 
we are going to change the text color and the font was uh, poppins bold and 24 okay so the font was poppins poppins and if the size was 24 okay mm -hmm. done and now we are going to make it center more so we're just adding some columns okay we're just making some spaces as it will look better and adding some spaces in top to bottom because it's look very narrow mm -hmm. so we are adding some padding like 10 pixel top and 10 pixel bottom so it's look as like a similarly that in okay it's still narrow so we need to add more padding in here mm. so we can add 20 pixel padding from top 20 pixel padding from bottom okay it's much similar like the design we can add more padding to make it more thicker okay 25 and 25 yeah. okay fine perfect mm. so if we now click on update now if we go to our site and if we reload you will find our header has replaced and it's completely right. dynamic so yeah. if we go or any single blog post the blog mm -hmm. post also have the similar header so it's the global header which mm -hmm. can be made using elementor pro the similar way we have actually implemented or on rig elements mm -hmm. so similarly we can add footer like before uh sorry we can uh, as well as we have add a header we can also add footer and also anything any template we can uh, we can yeah. see and in future we are coming with a body press and baby press integration so mm -hmm. this uh, lms integration so user can also build uh, mm -hmm. the custom lms website using elementor okay so going to the current part so our header has built it successfully now we just want to create a page mm -hmm. like to implement this section first okay so we just create want to creating a page i'm just creating a new page the page name is like a uh, home page and i'm just making it template to elementor full white template so mm -hmm. it will use our header and footer okay now i'm going to click it edit with elementor mm -hmm. okay fine so i'm just creating a section okay so i'm just creating another section so before this one i just re export this section now uh, mm -hmm. this images sorry this images because i don't have any images in my current pc mm -hmm. so okay video test I just name it in your test okay fine now uh here was my design and it was a full white I make it no gap and added another inner section. Okay, so I'm just going to add image in here. Mm. Image added already. Okay, so image is added. So I'm just going to add this color to background and add this text and description. Okay, so so the background color has added. Okay, done. Now. Mm. We have already achieved our design here but mm. this actually not the major point this is a major point coming soon now so because mm. this is the elementor core feature so mm. i'm just adding heading and adding some description mm. okay mm. and we just get in the description okay fine so this font will be poppins 54 and the color code is like that so i am just change the color and the typography and the typography size okay okay it's look bigger so we can make it 48 for better look we can just add the line height here Okay, we just make it center. Okay, okay now, uh, okay, so this color is black, so I'm just make it black. Okay, done. So is the last one, last part. I just want to add a button that we can easily take payments from Gumroad. This is a special feature 
mm. uh, for in rig elements which mm. don't have any other uh, kind of add-ons or even in Elementor Pro version. So if we scroll to the down, we can add the Gumroad payment button mm. and we can easily at Gamut payment here is the, our product uh, link where we can take payment or we can click on a purchase link so mm -hmm. i'll just make it default currently because i don't have any product in download but in future uh if user can want to replace it it's very easy and we can uh, change the text is currently on buy now we can like purchase from download okay so right. if we click on update now and we just want to check the page okay so we have almost achieved our design. Mm. So uh, here is the design. Okay, so in bottom there are some spacing needed. I'm just going to add some spacing to make it a little better. Uh, top 50, sorry, 50, and in bottom 50, 50 now 70. Okay, now it's look fine. Okay. So it's look better. So if anyone come to this site and he want to, he just uh, just check the site. Okay, fine, it was good. Mm -hmm. And he mm -hmm. want to purchase from Gumroad, just click Correct. on the Gumroad yeah. and the Gumroad payment uh, already open to our front. So mm -hmm. user can easily purchase from Gumroad. So that's actually right. one of the major feature for mm -hmm. uh, rig elements. We can achieve this type of uh, features. Also, rig elements has a lot of another um, a lot of add-ons available. Like we can use card. We can mm. use pricing table if we want to add pricing table like mm. we want to take uh, payment from we want to show a pricing section in here so we can mm. add a add on here okay top 70 percent bottom 70 percent now we can add the pricing table add on in here so if the pricing table has already added if we just add a new column mm. okay and we can duplicate it we can easily show a pricing table using right. rig elements okay yes. isn't this awesome yeah it is yes. and it is okay. easy also hope uh, let's see that how uh, if anyone uh, mm. we know that currently tiktok is one of the most uh, popular social networking service so mm. if anyone want to use his tiktok videos in here like mm -hmm. he can easily use our TikTok add-on, which is a special feature, especially uh, mm -hmm. from rig elements. No other element add-ons uh, uh, give you this feature. So I just moved the TikTok element feature and it has mm -hmm. already added a TikTok video. So the TikTok video has loaded directly. Right. So anyone can come to site and he can okay. easily place this okay. site and it has right. loaded successfully. Similarly, yeah. uh, similarly, if anyone want to show like uh twitter feed he can easily show in here and yes mm. you have asked me a question about the animation so let's see how the mm. look animation uh it's coming for especially the elementor pro firstly introduced as a loti animation feature in elementor so let's mm. see how we actually can achieve using real elements so mm. here is a loti animation uh here is the loti animation mm. okay so here's the loti animation it has already loaded if we go to loti animation.com Mm. Look the animation, and if just we want a free animation to add, okay, discover free animations. Oops, I'm currently not logged in yet, so I'm just logged. We need to log in first. In here, it's a free account, so you need, don't need mm. to uh, purchase anything here. If we want to purchase the uh, paid animation, then this could be better. So I can add like this animation mm. in here i just open it like look the animation url i just need to copy this thing mm. and
Okay. So there. yet because woocommerce feature has a lot of a uh, lot of explanation needed uh, hopefully mm -hmm. we need to do another webinar uh, for sure uh, e-commerce feature and uh, even comes with a custom header and footer script injector like mm -hmm. if you want to add facebook pixel code and google analytics code using mm -hmm. a third party plugins we don't need to think uh, work the on this one we just placing the code using uh, mm -hmm. our header and footer script injector also we have uh, another feature like the custom css in every element we will find a custom css uh, feature if we go to the setting we can find custom css by rig element so we can write custom css in here as but using element rig elements you don't need the feature just we can use custom css feature so that's all in current version and uh future version i will feature version so needs more widgets so any plan for adding more add-ons yeah definitely definitely we have already added our uh, we have already showed them in our future roadmap so user mm -hmm. will show that which plan or which add-ons are coming in future and they can also request us so rig mm -hmm. elements will be continuously updating uh, mm -hmm. we will update it continuously with more feature and widgets definitely we will add uh, what are the price users um, mm -hmm. we don't track anything else uh, so if we track then are the first of all there are uh, two drawbacks number one mm -hmm. the <clears throat> uh, performance will down and also there is a uh, privacy issue so we actually skip all the things so the users don't need to worry about that they are tracked by rig elements or code incorporated okay so what is the future roadmap okay so future roadmap uh, it's a it a uh, little bit long so i need to share the screen again to show okay. the future roadmap yeah uh, so if we go to the codeember.com slash rig elements for elementor we will find there is a widget here hmm. which my intent is kind of slow okay so in the what's new there's the what's new button in here uh we will find here is the current update we will find here that rig elements 1.5 has released and the custom mm -hmm. CSS feature is updated we have already mm -hmm. added and here is the public roadmap link so you can easily access using the code ember dot here mm -hmm. and here is a public roadmap then what is actually our plan and what is actually in our progress so in progress we are working on coming uh, coming soon page builder like like mm -hmm. if anyone want to add coming soon pages in their website or maintenance pages in their website they, they need to install any other uh, plugin or any other <clears throat> uh, any other software or any other third party script they just use rig elements and including our coming soon builder the 404 page builder is coming soon the contact from seven styler it's a widget that uh, mm -hmm. a lot of people almost seven male uh, seven lakhs or more than seven lakhs people using contact from seven mm -hmm. so user can easily customize contact from using rig elements especially mm -hmm. shopify buy now button because we want to integrate third party uh, third party services like shopify like big commerce like volution we are planning to add all of the sites integration so we are working on the shopify button also especially learn dash and learn press they, those are most important take uh, lms in currently market so we actually working on these elements easy digital download one of the most computer of woocommerce for digital download so we are working on this also yandex mm -hmm. map for especially uh, for russian user are also they are in yandex map used by um, the most of the european countries so we are mm -hmm. working on yandex map and even open state map the lead capture you can easily add capturing leads 
Uh, mm-hmm. Like if you want to pay a build a lead generation page, like email capturing page, you can easily create using Rig Elementor. So we are working on this uh, this feature and Stories Builder. Like uh, if uh, we are work uh, just we are uh, just find that Instagram Stories and Facebook Stories we will find in uh, in this platform. So we can add custom stories in mm-hmm. uh, our website using Rig Elements and especially the form builder so user don't need to add any third party form plugin or third party form uh, extension so they can easily add form for using our big elements so these uh, features and these elements are actually in progress so hopefully we will release it very soon uh, in time to time and here is a planned feature we are actually planned to uh, to working on and hmm. if anyone has more requests he can ask uh, in here from feature request section Hmm. and ask to create a post and it will add to our feature request section so there's actually a roadmap and feature request and you can also find our change login here so there is a latest update you can also check from here also similarly from this this and this are almost same but we can you can check you know, all of the things in the same uh, same area yeah so lots of plan and lots of working going on very nice. So, viewers, you have heard a beer. If you want, you, if you have any requests, you can write it there. Definitely. So, yeah. So, before wrapping up, uh, I want to know that how uh, how was your experience with Deal Mirror since your second time you are launching your second product here? So, uh, how is it going? Okay. So, so uh, not a second product; it's the third product. We have lost right. two products before. Yeah. Uh, local press and diner shop and regal limits and definitely deal mirror was one of the most uh, my favorite platform for a lifetime deal as uh, mm-hmm. so i have purchased before and and sell, uh, sold also before so mm-hmm. deal mirror is super helpful for me uh, to uh, brand our product uh, to expand our uh, so expand our brand in all over the world and all over the LTD users. So, uh, if you ask me to rate Deal Mirror, I will rest, I will rate it five out of five. So, I think that's could be wow. A, that's that's a wow. Thank you from Deal Mirror. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you from our side, guys. You can edit the design of your page while also ensuring that they are optimized by SEO. Another benefit is that you can also change in real time. This astounding product is available at a lifetime deal offer of $1.49, $1.99, and $1.199 only. Opt according to your need. Thank you so much, webinar watchers, for joining us today. Hope today's webinar has cleared your thoughts regarding this deal. Thank you so much, Abhi, for giving us your precious time. And very good luck with the product's success. So guys, if you have any queries, do write to us in comment section. And for more such tools, discussion and information, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.